find all positive integers n, such that 2 to the power of n, plus 12 to the power of n, plus 2011 to the power of n, is a perfect square. We will divide the problem into three cases. Case 1, n equals 1. Then 2 to the power of n, plus 12 to the power of n, plus 2011 to the power of n, is equal to 2, plus 12, plus 2011, which is equal to 2025, which is 45 squared. So n equals 1 is a solution. Case 2, if n is even. We let n equal 2k, where k is a positive integer. Then 2 to the power of n, plus 12 to the power of n, plus 2011 to the power of n, is equal to 2 to the power of 2k, plus 12 to the power of 2k, plus 2011 to the power of 2k. We know that a to the power of m, all to the power of n, equals a to the power of mn. By applying this, 2 to the power of 2k, is equal to 2 to the power of 2, all to the power of k, which is 4 to the power of k, as 4 is congruent to 1 modulo 3. So 4 to the power of k, is congruent to 1 modulo 3, as 12 is congruent to 0 modulo 3. So 12 to the power of 2k, is congruent to 0 modulo 3, as 2011, is congruent to 1 modulo 3. So 2011 to the power of 2k, is congruent to 1 modulo 3. Therefore, the algebraic expression is congruent to 2 modulo 3. 2 to the power of n, plus 12 to the power of n, plus 2011 to the power of n, is congruent to 2 modulo 3. Implies that. It cannot be a perfect square. As we can prove that, if 2 to the power of n, plus 12 to the power of n, plus 2011 to the power of n, is a perfect square. Then 2 to the power of n, plus 12 to the power of n, plus 2011 to the power of n, must be congruent to 0 or 1 modulo 3. We let 2 to the power of n, plus 12 to the power of n, plus 2011 to the power of n, equal m squared. Then m can be equal to 3j or 3j plus 1, or 3j plus 2, where j is a positive integer. If m equals 3j, then m squared equals 9j squared, which is congruent to 0 modulo 3. If m equals 3j plus 1, then m squared equals 9j squared, plus 6j, plus 1, which is congruent to 1 modulo 3. If m equals 3j plus 2, then m squared equals 9j squared, plus 12j, plus 4, which is congruent to 1 modulo 3. So 2 to the power of n, plus 12 to the power of n, plus 2011 to the power of n, cannot be a perfect square when n equals 2k. Case 3, if n is odd. Let n equal 2k plus 1, where k is a positive integer. Then 2 to the power of n, plus 12 to the power of n, plus 2011 to the power of n is equal to 2 to the power of 2k plus 1, plus 12 to the power of 2k plus 1, plus 2011 to the power of 2k plus 1. 2 to the power of 2k plus 1, is equal to 2 times, 2 to the power of 2, all to the power of k. Which is equal to 2 times, 4 to the power of k. As 4 is congruent to 0 modulo 4. So 2 times, 4 to the power of k is congruent to 0 modulo 4. As 12 is congruent to 0 modulo 4. So 12 to the power of 2k plus 1, is congruent to 0 modulo 4. As 2011 can be written as, 4 times, 503, minus 1. So it is congruent to negative 1 modulo 4. So 2011 to the power of 2k plus 1, is congruent to negative 1 modulo 4. Therefore, the algebraic expression is congruent to negative 1 modulo 4. 2 to the power of n, plus 12 to the power of n, plus 2011 to the power of n, is congruent to negative 1 modulo 4. Implies that. It cannot be a perfect square. As we can prove that, if 2 to the power of n, plus 12 to the power of n, plus 2011 to the power of n, 
is a perfect square. Then 2 to the power of n, plus 12 to the power of n, plus 2011 to the power of n, must be congruent to 0 or 1 modulo 4. We let 2 to the power of n, plus 12 to the power of n, plus 2011 to the power of n, equal m squared. Then m can be equal to 2j, or 2j plus 1, where j is a positive integer. If m equals 2j, then m squared equals 4j squared, which is congruent to 0 modulo 4. If m equals 2j plus 1, then m squared equals 4j squared, plus 4j, plus 1, which is congruent to 1 modulo 4. So we have proved that 2 to the power of n, plus 12 to the power of n, plus 2011 to the power of n, cannot be a perfect square when n equals 2k plus 1. So far, we have proved that 2 to the power of n, plus 12 to the power of n, plus 2011 to the power of n, cannot be a perfect square when n is greater than 1. Therefore n equals 1 is the only solution.